Ito ba yun? Ay, ito! Borgi Distillery El Intuaco. It's the oldest distillery in the Philippines. White wow. Castle. Shock tong. Does it ring a bell? Legend! Let's go, let's go! Look, it's the old distillery! It's alive! 1852 to the present! Hi! Hey, Oliver! Hi, how are you guys? I'm the Real Museum. Oh my goodness, it's the real thing! Welcome to the distillery in the Museum. Um, this is our company's museum. Our company has uh, been around for 170 years. We were established in 1852. Um, and back in 1979, my grandfather, who was the fourth generation of the company, we opened to the public in uh, 2018. We take you through the whole process of producing alcohol. So we like to start with a little bit of history on how alcohol used to be made. This is the antique one that we're using in Ilocos with the sugar cane. Oh my goodness. Carabao power. Pow is power. Now here's a mini, um, like a mini model for yes. the distillery. So there's, um, there's like a fermentation tank, uh, still um, a big barrel. So, usually, sugarcane stalks, like outside, are crushed um, and the juice is collected. Um, when it's further processed, they make sugar. The byproduct is molasses. Oh, so walang tinatapon. Galing! So, this is what we call the pulot, right? Ah, that's the pulot in Lilocos, yeah. yeah. We ferment and distill to retain the flavors. Yes. Whereas, when you do con uh, column distillation, you ferment and distill and you remove yeah, the Yeah, you lose everything. Yeah. You lose yeah. everything. Yeah. So yeah. it becomes like light and neutral, right? Very neutral. Yeah. So, so we do the opposite. So we showed you earlier how we make rum, but recently we've actually started developing a whiskey made with 100% mm. Philippine corn. Mm. The grains that we um, take and dry are still actually feeds. That's what they feed in other countries. Oh, so you can still... Yeah. You can still feed it to, uh, to livestock and poultry. Um, that's called distiller dried grains. After we um, age the product, it's now ready for bottling. Nice. Some are our designs, some yeah. we... Um, uh, we just import stock bottles, um, but a lot of these are actually bottles that we used in the past, yep. bottles that we've exported. It's one of our more popular products. Very popular! At lagi nagkakagulo! That's why White Castle 5 years old whiskey is trusted by millions of men all over the Philippines. Sa mga bomberang linalabas daw sa White Castle! <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> Borgi succeeded in finding the best part of the tour. This is the best walwal in Manila. It's the real deal. Para sa mga dakilang ilokana, katulad ko, 100 pesos ang entrada. May museum ka na, may tour guide na, meron pang Free wall wall, six ships of all these artisan liqueurs made in the Philippines, proudly invented by the Limtuaco family. Go! Ayan, ano ba nandito? Nako po, ang dai dai pala nito. Ay, we have to start. Ay, ka join kami dyan, Ilocano. It's because of Santa Aimee that we created Dragon Fire Dragon Fruit Wine. Yay! It's a red dragon fruit and we buy our dragon food from your farmers. Oh, yum. Yes, it's good. Cheers. Ayan. Ayan, ang biag. Yeah, like a, there's a little nice tartness. Yeah, it's a little ma a little bit masim, right? Mm. I don't taste much. The alcohol is really... It's all mellow. Yeah, that's the that's the problem with the Limtuaco liqueurs. Uh, they feel harmless. <laughs> so this is a classic basi made with um, sugar cane juice. That's the rum. Look at this color, guys. Hello. Hindi ako malakas dito si Borgi. Borgi pambato kita anak. Hindi ko kaya to. Okay, trying hard lang ako dito. Posing. Hello, because it's only fermented. We don't distill. Yeah, you don't distill. The orig. In the local sewer. In the local sewer. So we just took what they taught us and then used our um, more modern 
Nice. Making, yeah. yeah. Making. Yeah, but it still tastes like basi. Yes, but it's a little. It's but, fine. But it's smoother. It's, smoother. it's yeah. a lot it's smoother. Finish, yeah. It's clearly, have taken away a lot of the sort of. Yeah. Actually, bagay siya sa Ilocano food. Well, this is so deceptive. You're pretending it's harmless, but but it's like it looks really like, like chocolate like a, syrup. It looks like uh, Hershey's. It looks like tablea. It looks like melted. Chocolate, but it's alcohol. We cook it and then we mix it with some brandy because we found that brandy really works. Oh my goodness! All you need is ice cream. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Sakto. It's it's just right. It's got a kick. Yum. Okay, this is so good. Yum. Shut up. Okay, this is dangerous. You're gonna drink too much of it, and then you'll be wild. Fermentation or not. So, um, back in 2002, my mom wanted to make a product that was uniquely Filipino because we already had gins, rums, whiskeys, brandies, but like nothing that we could say was 100% from Yeah. So, we took two things that the Philippines is known for, which is rum and mangoes, yes. and then we put it together to make this product. Oh, oh that's, that's sold so well everywhere. I think this one you've made money hand over fist already. <laughs> Actually, a lot of the tourists. It's always it's the it's the forever it's the forever pasalubog, no? They always ask for this everywhere I go. Ito yung hinihinge. and whitening cream, whitening cream and mango rum. Okay, ba? Filipinos are so crazy. Yeah, so it already tastes like a pre-made like beach cocktail. Exactly. Yeah. It's just waiting for ice. And All you need is ice. Tubig or yellow lang. Are you good to go? Wowie wowie, you guys. We're only halfway, huh? Are you okay? Ah. Yeah. Here's a little bit less. Because so this what, is what coffee have? liqueur. Coffee? Ooh, coffee. coffee. Um, wow. Philippine coffee. Now, this is Philippine coffee. All of you guys there watching and watching. We are getting seriously wal wal. You can see my eyes are like going forever. Borgi doesn't care. It doesn't even tickle his toes. Nakong Borgi, ah. Sobra ka. Sweet. It's nice. Coffee beans. Fantastic. We don't put flavor here. Yeah, the flavor yeah. of the coffee is from the coffee it's itself. No added flavor. Mm, so strict. Fierce. Good. Yummy. So how many are we? Five? You're, you're five. Number five. Five in. Five in. Four left. No. Six plus six. Twelve. We're in trouble, Bubble. So, um, so it's a citrus liqueur. You, you might expect it to be sour, but it's not because we actually only use the rinds. Ah, ah you don't use the juice? Well, so ma bango. The fruit. Yeah, the fruit after we. Sa ano to? Walang sinabi yung limoncello ng Italia. This is natural. Natural zest from the real fruit. Yay! Then after we extract the oils from the skin of the fruit, we now produce a soap. Mmm. Using the. Oh, yeah, the soap. I, I'm using the soap. It's so good. Yeah! Talaga naman, nothing goes uh, to waste. I like this. I like this. After we made the calamansi um, liqueur, we also made one with dalandan. Which is even more mabango. Yeah, which is like more perfumey, a, a little more yeah, orange. A little like sweet, citrusy. Yeah, yeah. Calamansi. But both are good, but it depends what you prefer. Both are good. Yes, both are good. Ice cream. Ice cream for ice cream. Yeah, or the bar. You can make it into our sorbet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Horses, right? Palette cleanser. <laughs> so saucy. Okay, between dinuguan and uh, kare kare. <laughs> and, uh, okay, ba yung dalandan? Ito matamis. At saka may flowery siya sa umpisa, no? Sarap! Hala, Borgi, we have two more to go! You can do it! I'm so happy this na! I'm so happy this na, may ikot na yung kwarto. Ano ba? This next one is our rum. Um, so it's a rum that we blend with what we mentioned our uh, pots. Okay. So it'll be a little stronger in flavor. You'll get notes that you don't usually get from like a lighter one. Yeah, you can see. Look at that color alone. So yeah, look at the color. Have, you'll have some um, some caramel, some yeah, nuttiness, yeah. Some, um, yeah, some some almond. Ooh. Cheers! <laughs> Again, for Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. Uh, kailangan, kailangan isayaw. May salsa on the side. Ganon. May rumba. Okay. Or if you like it neat also. Oh, yeah. On the rocks. It's nice. 
Yeah, you can drink this. Yeah, on the rocks. Yeah, no need to do anything. And last but not least, yeah. So this is another coffee liqueur actually. But it's um... Meme. Like, like it's a tequila flavored coffee liqueur. This smells so good. Why does it smell so good? It's different from the first uh, yeah, uh, this coffee. Like espresso. Yeah, that's, that's like espresso straight up. Yeah. This one is a caramelly edge. Cheers for the ones who are not drinking, but stoking us all up. Cheers, botena. Ayan, botena. Very good, Aaron. Diane, cheers, cheers to all the Filipino uh, inventions here in Museo Limtoaco. First distillery. Tagay, tagay. Walwal. -wal.